Hey everybody, it's your boy, Eduardo Jackson, CEO, founder of Cinema Draft and Blacks in Bitcoin, where everybody's welcome, but I stay black and loving Bitcoin. Welcome back to ELI5TIL. Explain to me like I'm five, today I learned. And today, we're going to be talking about decentralized exchanges. What is an, what is an exchange, period? Well, first of all, an exchange where you go get your coins, like your GDAX, which is an arm of Coinbase, the most popular exchange in the United States, as well as Gemini, which I actually prefer over Coinbase because of less fees. Now, a decentralized exchange is a concept whose time has come, especially for the decentralization of cryptocurrency, which is its native state, which is peer-to-peer, -peer, me changing to you without having to go through a third party with, through which we do not necessarily trust, like a bank or even an exchange. A lot of people who have been in the space for a while will tell you that your money is not exactly safe on exchange, that you only really have your money if you have it in your hand or in your, your own wallet, uh, preferably a hardware wallet like a Trezor or a Ledger Nano S, which I'm still waiting on for, Santa. Anyways. <clears throat> So basically, a decentralized exchange takes the idea of an exchange, but one step further. Basically, it is, it's basically making you the actual exchange with the person. They just provide an opportunity for you to connect with other people. So instead of going to a site like GDAX, where you have order books and you have people lining up like planes ready to take off the tarmac, you, ha you, know, you actually are going to be you know, making the market between person to person without having to put your funds in a central place. Because the problem with exchange, even as robust as GDAX or Gemini, is that it's centralized. If they ever get hacked, you're kind of screwed. Now, granted, Coinbase is FDIC insured up to 250000 but we're not stopping at 250000 here. We're here to be crypto millionaires and kajillionaires. So why not go to a decentralized exchange instead? Now, the pro now, what exactly is a decentralized exchange? Well, according to the helpful people at Crypto Compare, they're basically a market that does not rely upon a third-party service to hold the customer funds, kind of like we said. Now, there aren't a ton of examples out there of decentralized exchanges with a lot of liquidity, but let me pull up one that I just happen to be a part of called Ether Delta, because I have the Bloom token, as you can see, a little token amount of bloom token here and basically what it what it's doing is you have to have a type of wallet like an erc-20 compliant wallet which basically makes it so that anytime you sign into a place like ether delta you're not depositing money on exchange you're not going to binance you're not going to coinbase or gdax you're not going to gemini and putting your funds there and then trading with people you're actually trading directly from your own wallet so all these you know buys and sells happened peer-to-peer -peer, with ether delta only being the place where they kind of coagulate all of the buyers and sellers to to meet but they're they do not hold your funds you own your private keys this is actually connected to to a my ether wallet that i control and own so that way there's never any risk that if ether delta gets hacked they can ever take any of my money if anything if ether delta if ether delta gets hacked they'll just take the small fees they've taken out in order to host the exchange and the concept of decentralization is definitely a, time, a concept whose time has come. You know, we're looking at stuff like the BitConnect X, uh, the BitConnect X ICO, which nobody knows anything about still. Brilliant marketing, if you ask me. And what we, we do believe it's probably going to be some sort of decentralized exchange, because that's what we found on their roadmap. And if so, that truly will be a game changer. That's why I'm getting into this ICO. But that's neither here nor there. The whole thing is that we want to... Decent, we want to keep us as decentralized as possible because that's why we're in cryptocurrency in the first place to a degree, right? Yes, we want enormous profits, but yes, we also want control of our own money. I guarantee you, if you want, if you had, you know, millions of dollars in the bank right now and you called and you, you went down there on your lunch break and said, I want to pull out a million dollars, it would be a problem. They'd, they'd notify a ton of people. They'd probably ask you sorts of invasive questions about using your own funds. And they probably wouldn't even give you the whole million dollars in cash that day because, quite honestly, banks tend not to have that much actual cash on hand. So a decentralized exchange would be great in the real world as well as the digital world. So 
That's it for today's ELI5 TIL. Today we learned about decentralized exchanges. Hopefully I'll be doing more of these and coming to you with things I've learned while out here in the cryptosphere. Feel, feel free to follow us, like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Appreciate it. Blacks and Bitcoin. Also, go to the site and email me your questions. I answer questions every week on our week long, our hour long weekly podcast at blacksinbitcoin at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, everybody. And until next time, hodl if you hear me. <laughs>